Hey everybody, we're playing The Forest. This is Let's Game It Out. Anthony, where are we doing? Where are we? I, I'm i not even sure, man. Like, we crash-landed. Oh, uh, ah, see? I, you shouldn't be in this cave. I'm not afraid. After we just <laughs> entered through Computer Canyon, where you somehow forged <laughs> electronic parts, you went into a cave, Ooh. and there's... Oh, mm. God. This is science... Uh, uh. Turn around, and your lighter is a piece of poop, by the way. It really, it, ooh, uh, I see a flame over there. Let's do it. <sighs> oh, oh, wait, whoa, 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 what gosh. is this? Wait, are there dudes who can kill us in here? Mm. Oh you, my god, they're alive! Do you uh, kill them? What do you do? Why don't they oh. see? Huh. <gasps> uh, Wake oh up, dude! Wait, I'm here! How come, how Give come me he's back! Never uh, <sighs> Where's my son? Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, your son's gone. He's like, they're like, he's with the Shakespeare in the Park troupe. <laughs> oh. Ew. Uh, oh, man. I don't like surviving. Yeah, this, <laughs> yeah, I'm not feeling so good about this. Ooh, can I have this? Yeah, better than this bullshit bick you've got. Can I seriously not take this? This is so necessary to my survival, though. It won't let me take it. Well, yeah, next best well, thing, maybe. Suck it, Survivor. <sighs> Nothing. I feel like I cut you off. We were you were you're asking me a question about those dudes that I then axed to death, and rightfully so. Uh, oh. I hope you. Just, I just don't want you to find their poop chamber. Like that would be disgusting. Mm, maybe that was the poop chamber. I mean, they were both. Uh, maybe they're <laughs> copping a squat. Very. Yeah, I mean, oh shit. Anthony. Oh god, I hate Ugh. everything about this now. <laughs> oh god, it's uh... And you know, the game's very well executed, that's why I hate it, because I, I hate- I'm scared. Did you just get hit? Uh... I don't think so, I think my lighter just went out. Are you oh. pulling a- His legs are separating from his body. I just want to point that out. One more uh, hit and I'll, I'll move on. Uh, yeah! He's not coming uh, back. You know what? That's like the uh, that's like the that's like the thousand FPS version of the uh, in uh, Black Mesa when you uh, get jibbed somebody and like their arms just like s and legs severed off their body instantaneously. I love shit like that in any game where it's everyone dies like a fucking bloody crash test dummy. Oh yeah, my fucking favorite. I want to get the fuck oh, yeah. out of here. That's the good stuff. I hope this is the way out. Uh huh. It'd be nice if I could see anything. I this, see. No. Uh. Yeah, so, crash landed, kid gone, you're the only survivor, and then you looted the airplane, you found some computers, you fucked with a, a bird was trying to, like, hook up with another bird, and you interrupted that. <laughs> uh, uh, and that's he, not it. I mean, yes. Everything you're saying, what am I picking up here? Um, useful stuff? Yeah, it looks like sticks, and, uh, I can't pick up more sticks, I'm fresh out of sticks. Riddle me this. Yes. Uh, with the survival genre, again, I, I don't like, I don't mind it. I, I, I don't, but I don't seek them out. I know you, you kind of like them more than I do. Thus, you piloting this. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this isn't just for the genre, but since we're playing this genre, uh, do you feel like Get it would be better here. if there was like a limit on, you know what? Like you don't have unlimited inventory. Like you have to do some serious management. Like you can basically carry like what you. Josh or Anthony could carry if you were literally in the situation. Like, you don't get to hold 8,000 feet of rope, 600 lighters, and right. all the rations, you know, blah, blah, blah. Right, yeah. This is correct. So, like, what are your thoughts on a game enforcing those kinds of rules? I think it's, uh, when it comes to a survival game, I think it very strongly depends on the vibe they're going for. So as an example, um, there's this other survival game, which maybe we'll play at some point, called uh, The Long Dark, which is, uh, oh, yeah, I mean, that. this one has like vague supernatural elements, right? Where like there's mutants or something, natives that we're fighting. I don't know why I say they're mutants. I think that's, I may have, might have read that in the description a long time ago, but you know, there's certain elements that are kind of like, a lot of it's real, uh, but there's also like, you know, there's there's a force in this that's beyond nature itself. Like you, there's a bad guy in this game. The bad guy is not just purely surviving. It's something right. that actually wants to find you and kill you, and is taking your son. And oh shit, I might fall. Uh, let's inch our way over here. Whoa, this isn't the poop pit, is it? I'm. Uh, it, ooh, it might be. I would like to get out of here. Is what I. 
is what I know. But um, so the long dark, uh, there is no nothing like that. It's just there wasn't. I mean, this is kind of supernatural, but as like a story setup. But like, there was an EMP that brought down your plane. You've crash landed in like the snowiest, coldest part of Canada, and no one is to be found. And all you need, like your whole goal, is to scrounge up materials and survive the cold, survive hunger, survive all that stuff. And there's like wolves and bears, and that's it. That's the whole setup of that game. And so for that to have a limited inventory, I think... Please let this be the way out. I think that makes a lot of sense. It looks promising. God damn it, we're back in this cave. I'm never so gonna find So is that game, like, very limited inventory? Like, like real life-ish? Yeah, you have, like, a weight limit. Um, and once you've reached that, like, you, you can carry more stuff, but it's, like, a severe... Come on, lighter. It's, like, a severe burden on your ability to move. It brings you down, it exhausts you, it makes you hungry... Uh, you can't do it for as long. All that shit, right? So, oh, thank God. Get me out of here. Whew. Oh, much better. Um, so with stuff like that, I think that... Put the lighter away. I think that that is fine for it to have those limitations. Versus, like, you know, Minecraft is technically, like, has a ton of survival elements to it, right? And in that, like, it's a very programmy hard limit. It's like, you can hold 64 of anything in one little square. Right, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. And it's like, doesn't matter if it's uh, the heaviest block in the game or if it's a piece of glass, you can hold 64 of whatever in a stack. And I think that is totally fine for a game like Minecraft. Right. Because it's so, you know, it's so obviously stylized, not realistic, blah, blah, blah. It's got a story-ish thing to it. So, yeah. Uh, hey. Is this like the barbecue pit? <laughs> um... Oh my god, is that for a human being? Do we want to go down there? I don't know. But yeah, so in this game, there is... Uh, we'll go down there in a little bit. I, I feel like I want to... Oh, hey! See? These things. Crocodiles! Come yeah. here. Run, little buddy. Run, because <laughs> no. Josh is a bastard. He'll try and kill you. Shit, I lost him. Oh, ah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Woo. Oh, so gross. Oh, I can uh, kill the Komodo dragon. Oh, and I... Yeah, I skinned him for his yeah. stuff, and it was really obviously that easy. I really hope I never get stranded in the wild. I'll die. With with me, or just at all? Just period. Like, I guess if I had a guy like you who's not afraid to skin lizards, I guess I'd be okay. I, uh... But, oh, you know what? See my little meter down here? I am thirsty. Eat water. Yeah, I, Jesus. I have soda. Thank you. I have soda and booze, but no Yeah, water. you do. Uh, let's see. And a lizard? Skinned lizard? You're carrying that shit around? Like, ugh. Gotta cook that shit, bro. Uh, All right, so well, yeah. tree sap. Leaves. Okay, so I'm gonna bring up my survival guide. And we're gonna... I use this to initiate certain things I can build. So we're gonna build... Hunting shelter, not so good. I think... We should focus our efforts on... This might be a little arduous. Um... Because it takes 82 plus logs, and I think we have to sit there and hammer those out. That might take a while. Oh, right on. Small cabin looks kind of cool, though. Yeah, it does. Only takes 13 logs. Um... Let's go with that. Yeah. So, click that. Yeah, look. Something that'll pretty. be totally sweet. Yeah. that will feel cozy. Yeah. And so, let's face it like this... And we'll place it right next to this uh, murder hole. How's that sound? Yeah, we will. All right, so... Okay, cool. So we set it up, and now we need to go get the materials. See in the bottom left corner, or at the bottom, it says... Uh, gather, gather logs. logs. Yeah. So let's do it. Dun, dun, dun. But yeah, so I think in this game, like, I'm not allowed to just carry infinite logs. Like, I can only carry a couple at a time, and all that stuff. But yeah, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. These games have gotten so freaking popular just the survival genre uh in general are just i mean it's it's like if you can make a competent one or sometimes a not competent one um they just sell like crazy huh that was convenient yeah that was dare i say easy <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, right now, you're uh, Schwarzenegger from Commando. Yeah. When he's like, walk with the logs. <laughs> uh, e. E. Does that mean Alyssa Milano's around here? What? It's coming to... I wish. I had such big pants for her when I was a kid. I think we all did. Yeah, um, right? I knew who the boss was. <laughs> she was the boss. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it was a different world back then, too, because, I mean... um, Wait, did, did you hear something? No, 
But I saw that you collect tree sap. Did you... No, seriously, you didn't hear anything? I swear to God, I didn't. Oh, God, I really thought I heard a voice. Are you fucking with me, Josh? It's not okay. No, I'm not fucking with you. I might be fucking... No, Just no, this... Just build a house so we can hide. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. I'm scared. Oh, God, it's getting so dark. I know. You're going to die out here alone. I know. <laughs> no, no, no. We got this. We got this. We got this. And don't worry, everyone else. We're not going to leave until we're done with the house. This will... Um, we will see this through. Oh, God, it's getting so dark, though. Oh, you're going to die. Is it falling on you? Oh, no, it's well, not okay. Did you ever see... There was this guy, and I think they he recorded it for, like, documentary purposes, but he um, he had seen, I think the movie is The Blue Lagoon. It's like a very... It's, you know, like yeah, two, know movie. two people stranded on an island, right? Yeah. And they have, like, a... They have a very romantic time. And, uh... Need some help here. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> what kind of a nut job does this? This is so awesome. <laughs> Just holds his little lighter out. Just, yeah. Yeah. It's got a lot of gas in that lighter. I know. Yeah, that's that would be my main concern is uh, when is that shit going to run out? You're going to need that. Uh, but some guy saw that movie and he, he became very enamored with the idea of, you know, having his romance and also surviving and living just off the land of a desert island. And so he... I think he was actually 18, and he decided he wanted to do this. Oh, is that British kid? Yeah, yeah. I've seen this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, his girlfriend or something. Well, he uh, he initially was going to go with the girl he wanted to, and then she had to bow out for whatever reason, and so he just put in an ad for any woman to go with him. Okay. And uh, they went out, and you know, first of all, they had no chemistry as people, so they they were in a stressful situation, didn't really get along very well to begin with, but. You know, they learned the true reality of what it would be like to be lost on a, quote unquote, lost on a desert island, which is right. like, well, you're going to get assaulted by bugs. Uh, you have no medicine. You, if it, either one of you gets sick, it's going to be a real bad time. You have no way to build a fire. Like, it's just all of these things. Yeah. And like, building a shelter is really hard. They chose, a, they chose an island that had like no soft beach of any kind. So it was just like really sharp, rough terrain. I am not oh. liking that it's nighttime right now. I remember this. They're like, yeah, and didn't they like, what the hell was that? I don't know. Um, and then they like, uh, yeah, like they were like, yeah, you just get over overwhelmed with bugs. And, you know, you, you looked past it at first, but, you know, and then, but then you just can't. And it's like, yeah, because uh, it's the tropics and there's no like fumigation going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just can't get away from that. There's, there's no getting away from that. Although... Uh, have you read the book or seen the made-for-TV movie Hatchet? No. Hatchet, uh... Oh, wait. Yeah! Wait. No. <laughs> I'm thinking of the kid. Yeah, there's a kid. He was in the start side. He's in an airplane ride, and it crashes. Yeah, and he crashes into a lake. Yeah, yeah, I read that book when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, I think we all, uh... It's like, yeah, required reading, or and like, what the hell was that? Did you... I heard that. I think that was my guy just... <laughs> yeah. Qu quickly, to the... <laughs> perfectly laid out <laughs> creation mat quickly lay out the mat look at your belongings survey the scene <laughs> uh, we're almost there we only need three more logs and then we can uh, we can build our shelter yeah we can but yeah it's I have to admit like um, I mean less so now that I'm getting I've played so many survival games that I think the feeling is kind of leaving me but I've always been enamored with the idea of having survival skills and using them and, uh, like, I've got a couple, but nothing, like, that would allow me to survive reasonably in a situation like this. Um, but, uh, I think it's a cool idea, and I see why people really like it. Especially in, like, a setting like this where, like, there's no fucking way a dude could chop down four trees in a couple of minutes, you know? Schwarzenegger could, but yes. I mean, <laughs> but mere mortals <laughs> yeah, right. most certainly would not be able Like, it would yeah. take... With this axe, I feel like it would take, like, I feel like maybe you couldn't even chop trees like this, you know? Yeah, like, I think it's only saving grace is that it's all metal, so, like, it just won't snap. But, uh, yeah, exactly. You're gonna, you're gonna have a rough time, uh, with this axe. Yeah, and just, like, so you get kind of a taste of the things you think sound cool about it, um, without the harsh reality uh, oh, but some survival games do give you that harsh reality. Like, again, The Long Dark, 
uh, if you play that game on it's like normal or hard difficulty, like it is straight up like as close as they can get to come on tree. What is happening here? But it's as close as you you can get to the real see. situation. I don't know, man. Like I respect it and all like dudes who get trained for that stuff, but my guy's tired. Oh, he's tired. Does he need to eat? Yeah, do you see in the bottom right corner there's a little meter that's going up, I think. Yeah. I was going to ask you about the red meter blinking. Is that just your stamina type thing? Yeah, I think the left one is uh, health and the right one is stamina and clearly the blue one is my magic. <laughs> my magic yeah, points. Exactly. <laughs> That's your mana level, of course. <laughs> so, luckily you're not encumbered so you can easily pass magic mythal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the word encumbered is never used in any... Why is this tree taking so long? Come because on. this tree's got a fucking grudge to pick with you. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't want me to be happy. No one does. Um, uh, come. That, it knows you need it, so it's like, fuck you. So, do you suppose a game like this would be less... This is fucking... Why? Um, do you suppose a game like this would be scarier if we were... Because if, if, they have a multiplayer component to this. I'm getting real tired of this. I, Let's try another tree. I don't know. I feel like it'd be scarier solo right yeah yeah i uh i feel like if you're playing with the right person doesn't matter how scary a game is it becomes goofy as fuck when there's two of you meaning just like because you got to coordinate and that kind of stuff well like uh so are you, you're familiar with the game system shock yeah yep system shock for anyone who doesn't know is the uh, bioshock is a spiritual successor of from System Shock. And System Shock was like a space... Just let me pick up the goddamn... There we go. I was going to say, Jesus Christ. Uh, where's my... There it is. Um, but, uh, you know, it's it's part sci-fi, part RPG, part first-person shooter, part part horror. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Uh, oh, and he's giggling. Oh. Uh, ow. Uh, ow. Oh, please. God. I just want to build a shelter. Stop. Did he just, like, parkour roll out of the way? <laughs> yeah, Jesus he really did. Christ. Oh. Oh, well, all right. Good, you weirdo. You got any friends? Jesus. Yeah. I'm like, don't piss them off, Josh. Just get in the cabin, lock the door, and be quiet. Open it. Open it. Open the door. Oh, I just pushed my way in. Okay. Oh, good. You have a fucking window. Uh, did you hear that? Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's, it's a lady one. Maybe she can't get in here, though. Yeah. Turn off your light. You got it. It's a good call. It's a good call. Oh, my God. I almost pooped. <laughs> She's like, huzzah! And then she runs away in that weird <laughs> gorilla scampering. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. I don't feel good. Me neither. But we do have a shelter now. Yeah. So, uh, all right, cool. 18 minutes, Anthony. I say <laughs> we, <laughs> we, uh, right we give our guy, time. yeah, we give our guy a little rest and we will come back next time. Sounds good. Sounds good.